approximately 124 miles, 200 kilometers, off the coast of Cape San Vicente in Sagres, hidden beneath the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, lies one of the most intriguing and threatening geological structures ever discovered on the European coast. This region, known as the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain, represents a critical point on the boundary between the Eurasian and African tectonic plates, a horizontal fracture zone that has the potential to generate the most devastating earthquakes in Portugal's modern history. The Horseshoe Abyssal Plain, located near the underwater mountain of Gorinja Bank, is part of one of the most complex convergent zones on the planet. This vast geological formation on the Atlantic seafloor has been shaped by colossal tectonic forces over millions of years. The geological history of this region dates back more than five million years, when a unique process began to fragment the tectonic plate in a way never before documented on this scale. This continuous mechanism of internal separation of the Earth's crust is responsible for creating not only the recently discovered fissure, but an entire network of accumulated tensions that extend for hundreds of miles along the ocean floor. This slow but relentless geological evolution has shaped the submarine morphology of the region, creating a structure that appears flat on the surface, but is deeply fractured in its deepest layers, approximately 124 miles, 200 kilometers below the seafloor. Something extraordinary and alarming is happening in the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain. This geological formation, considered the most enigmatic in the region, was identified as the origin of the earthquake, with a magnitude between 7.3 and 7.9 that shook Lisbon and much of Portugal in 1969. This intense seismic activity is not a common event and has placed the international scientific community on maximum alert especially because the observed patterns show alarming similarities to those that preceded the catastrophic earthquake of 1755, which resulted in tens of thousands of deaths and completely destroyed the Portuguese capital. Professor João Duarte, a specialist in geology and plate tectonics at the Faculty of Sciences of the University of Lisbon and researcher at the Dom Luiz Institute, made a statement that summarizes the magnitude of the current situation. According to his words, there's a portion of the tectonic plate that is separating in a process called delamination. And we had never found a fault with sufficient dimensions to generate an earthquake, like the one in 1755. This statement not only highlights the exceptional nature of the ongoing events, but also reveals the catastrophic potential hidden beneath the apparently calm waters of the Atlantic, just a few miles from the Portuguese coast. But what exactly is causing this alarming sequence of seismic activity in a region that has always been considered geologically flat and stable? And more importantly, are we witnessing the first signs of a colossal magnitude seismic event that could devastate Lisbon and the entire Portuguese Atlantic coast in the same way as the historic earthquake of 1755? And the answer to these questions may be directly related to a rarely observed geological phenomenon that is still poorly understood by science, the process of tectonic delamination on a continental scale. The most recent data revealed in August 2025, through a study published in the prestigious scientific journal Nature Geosciences, present a scenario that keeps experts on constant alert. During eight months of intensive monitoring with seismometers installed on the seafloor, scientists detected an extraordinary pattern of deep seismic activity a concentrated cluster of small earthquakes occurring at depths between 19 and 25 miles, 30 to 40 kilometers, was identified, a feature considered highly abnormal for this region. Although individual tremors are of relatively low magnitude, the frequency and depth of these seismic events create a pattern that researchers describe as deeply concerning. Current activity, when compared to the region's historical patterns, demonstrates significantly elevated levels of accumulated energy consistently remaining above values considered normal for the geological patterns of the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain. To understand the scale of this activity, it is essential to compare it with previous seismic events that marked Portugal's history. The earthquake of November 1st, 1755, which occurred precisely during the celebrations of All Saints Day, reached an estimated magnitude close to nine on the moment magnitude scale. This seismic event was followed by a devastating tsunami with waves reaching up to 49 feet, 15 meters in height, invading Lisbon just minutes after the initial tremor. The event resulted in estimated deaths ranging from 30,000 to 100,000 people, destroying approximately 85% of Lisbon's structures. More recently, the earthquake of February 28, 1969, 
with a magnitude between 7.3 and 7.9, had its epicenter precisely in the horseshoe abyssal plane. Although less destructive than the 1755 event, this tremor was intensely felt in Lisbon, causing widespread panic and significant structural damage. This comparison helps us understand that, although current seismic activity is being preventively monitored, it still represents a critical warning sign for the scientific community and Portuguese authorities. The speed and scale of this delamination process have been truly impressive and alarming. While tectonic plates normally move between three quarters of an inch to two inches, two to five centimeters per year, the lower portion of the plate in the horseshoe abyssal plain region has already sunk to an exceptional depth of 124 miles, 200 kilometers, toward the Earth's mantle, twice what would be considered normal for tectonic structures of this nature. The planned installation of a new generation of submarine communication cables, which will cross the Atlantic, passing precisely through the horseshoe abyssal plain zone, represents an unprecedented opportunity. These cables will be equipped with state-of-the-art seismic sensors, allowing real-time monitoring 24 hours a day, seven days a week, providing crucial data that could potentially offer early warnings of imminent seismic activity. What makes the situation even more impressive and concerning are the colossal dimensions of the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain itself. This geological formation extends for hundreds of miles along the Atlantic floor, creating one of the largest active tectonic tension zones in the ocean. The developing fissure crosses rock layers with thicknesses reaching tens of miles. The delaminated portion of the plate, located approximately 124 miles, 200 kilometers, below the ocean floor, functions as a gigantic fracture zone that, when it releases the energy accumulated over millions of years, generates the seismic tremors detected on the surface that can reach devastating magnitudes. The complex and unpredictable nature of tectonic delamination represents one of the main challenges for experts trying to predict the future behavior of this structure. Unlike conventional seismic faults, where movement occurs in clearly defined vertical planes, this phenomenon of horizontal separation presents irregular and variable patterns over time, making predictions extremely challenging. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature that shape our planet and want to continue learning about the most extraordinary and threatening geological phenomena that exist beneath our feet and beneath our oceans, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive more quality content about natural events that can transform the world as we know it.